Hey, welcome back. This section covers a topic that is missing in most courses, allegedly because it is an advanced topic. But it is not that advanced. It is just another one of those topics that is, for some strange reason, ignored by many developers, even by some experienced ones. So here is another tool for your arsenal, which will help you in your quest to become a standout developer. Let's begin. In this lesson, you will be introduced to hierarchical queries. So let's begin by explaining what a hierarchical query is. Hierarchical queries are select statements that use a special clause that is available in Oracle SQL, which was created specifically to facilitate the retrieval of hierarchical data. And what is hierarchical data, you may ask? Hierarchical data is the kind of data in which one row can be related to another row by means of a parent-child relationship. For example, this is the M table, which has been traditionally known as one of the demonstration tables in the Scott schema. This table stores employees' data, which is one of the classical examples of hierarchical data. Why? Take a look at this column. In this column, we have a number that represents an employee, and it's equivalent to the employee ID we have in the employees table we've been using in the course. And this other column stores the ID of the manager of the employee we're looking at. So this number you see here is the empno of some other employee, which is the manager of the employee we're looking at. For example, take a look at this row. 7698 is the empno of the employee called Blake. And here in the manager column, there is a number which tells us which employee is the manager of Blake. So, 7839 is the empno of Blake's manager. So, who's Blake's manager? Let's see. Here it is. 7839 is the empno of the employee called King. So, King is Blake's manager. Now, take a look at these rows. All of these employees have 7698 in the manager column. And this means that Blake, whose empno is 7698, is the manager of these employees. So, Blake is this employee's manager, and Blake's manager is King. So, as you see, all these rows are related by means of these empno and manager columns and they create a parent-child relationship. Hierarchical data can usually be represented in a tree like this one. As you see, king is the root of the tree. But how do we know it? Well, if you look at the data, king has null in the manager column, which means that he doesn't have a manager, so he is at the top of the hierarchy. Nobody is above him. As we will see in the next lesson, this is important because we must have a way to identify the beginning of the hierarchy, or the root or roots of the tree, because we could have more than one root. So, looking at the tree again, we see that King is the manager of Jones, Blake, and Clark. Jones is the manager of Scott, and Scott is the manager of Adams. So, as you see, there are several levels in the hierarchy. King is at the first level. Then Jones, Blake, and Clark are at the second level, then all of these employees are at the third level, and finally, Adams and Smith are at the fourth level, which is the last level in the hierarchy. Okay, now you know what hierarchical data is, and you know that a hierarchical query is a select statement that uses a special clause that simplifies the retrieval of this kind of data. So you are ready to start learning about the hierarchical clause, which we will cover in the next lesson. See you there.